Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> Welcome! Hey. of season eight of the game right here on After Buzz TV. I am your host, Megan Thomas. I'm so glad to be back. This is the final season of the game, as we all know, and I'm kind of sad. Yeah. Because this episode started off with a bang. Heck yeah. Hard drive. Yes, so let's introduce some of these co-hosts today. Who are you, lovely lady? I'm Courtney Tezano. Hey, what's up? I'm Stacey Ike, filling in for who? Oh, I'm filling I don't in know for. who I'm filling for in Fallon. for. For Fallon. For Fallon. I'm filling in for Fallon. Yes. What's up? I am Kevin John, and I am the uh, testosterone for this panel. <laughs> so Do you glad to be here. We so always like, yeah, right. You are the bass in the voice. <laughs> right. Because it's all about that bass. All I that bass. Yeah. No yeah. yeah. travel. We're not going to do that. But that's a whole other show. That, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 it really yeah. is. Uh, this episode, you guys, one word to describe the episode. Kevin, go. Um, it, 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 incredible. Okay. Messy. Shade. And I, I will like go, that. oh. I, I don't think that's <laughs> a word. Do I don't think no. Webster's. Oh, 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 right. oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Yes. So this episode, well, just to write it, this episode started off with Chardonnay bolting through the church doors, getting in that nice Bentley, ripping the just married off. And, of course, Jason comes up to her and is like, I don't know, like, I don't know why I, I said that. It fell out. It fell out of my mouth. What did you guys think when last season, when it ended with Jason turning to Kelly and saying, oh, yeah, I love you, but I, I can't marry you, Shana, because I love Kelly. What did you think? Did you think they were going to get back together? Did you think it was a joke? Like, what did you think? I honestly thought they were going to get back together. I, I mean, now that we saw the episode, I was a little shocked with how it went, but I thought, Oh my gosh, like this is that moment. I was very upset for Chardonnay, but I was like, oh, I do really like Kelly and I missed her. So, right. Yeah. I'll have to piggyback and say I was a little like hurting for Chardonnay, but so happy because I've been missing Kelly and Jason. Yeah, yeah. I do miss them. They were fun. Yeah. It seems like they're like soulmates. They're yeah. perfect for each other. What? They're what? nuts. It's they great. are. That's why they're agree. soulmates. I don't agree. Yeah, you I think not, Jason I, Pitts I and Chardonnay made more sense? They, absolutely. I do. No, yeah. my thing I is the Chardonnay <laughs> is. How did she not see this coming? Yeah. You what know, do you I, mean? I, 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 no, I, there were so many signs, like so what? many things throughout. Uh, um, maybe him uh, pretending to get in a car accident because he was coming from the, uh, what's her face's, uh, Kelly's crib that one time. Right. Okay. And there were so many things that indicated that he was really not into Chardonnay or, or into that relationship they wanted to build or that marriage they were building. It was it a was, rebound. I, I, yeah, with well, that. And, and also, you see the chemistry he has with Kelly. Like, with, when, when he's with Kelly, it looks really like that's his best friend. Like, he's so comfortable. So, you see that with Chardonnay, it felt like she was just trying to change him. Or yeah, she was trying to. That's why I don't come, like and I don't think he was receptive to that. So, you know. It, but I, don't, I thought it wasn't. I felt like she wasn't trying to change him for, like, oh, you're not a good person. Everything that she wanted made sense. For example, True. she wanted him to quit football because he had a concussion and he could die. Yeah. I feel like if you're somebody who just is a is a gold digger or doesn't really care about something, you'll be like, no, baby, keep playing until you drop dead. Like, keep right, playing. You'll right. love it. Like, die on the field. Right. That to me, and that's something that Kelly would have said. But no, see, uh, Kelly has history with him. She knows that that is his passion. As we know, football is his first love, his first true love. And Kelly has always known to kind of bag back a bit on that. See, so but I that's, think that's, that's, why not that's, yeah, that's not, that's no, no, not that's, a good trade. Yeah, that's not that's not a good trade. It's not a good trade. I completely agree. It's not. But for them, that's why their relationship worked because uh, she was so supportive. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and I'm I'm not necessarily obviously any good wife. Um, you know, is not just going to fall back unless you do whatever. They're right. going to be uh, supportive, but yet they're also going to look out for your best interest. Right. And with that being said, I, I I think Jason needs somebody. I, I mean, like we all said, I think Chardonnay is good for him, but I don't think that's what he wants. 
I think what he wants is somebody like Kelly who can be a little submissive and somebody that can allow him to still do him. But the new Kelly isn't submissive. The new Kelly, we've seen the last two seasons, she's not the old, you know, I'll do whatever, I'll bake whatever kind of girl. I mean, her daughter's grown up, so she's not even the same mom. Like, But I that's think it's, why it works better to me now. Because yeah, because now she has off. a voice. I don't know. No, that's why she's <laughs> go, she, okay. I, I'm hating. I, okay, you can hate, you can hate, but she works so much better. She's had some bumps uh, and bruises. Yeah. She's lived her single life and living that single life has made her who she I is. Just, She's I, better I, now. I, I got that. I got that. I love Kelly, but I just love who Jason has become as a result of being with Chardonnay. She made him better. And shouldn't you strive to be with somebody that makes you better? Absolutely. I can agree with that. But he's a better man. He's, he's likable now. No, no, I, tolerable, I agree. Tolerable. Tolerable. Yeah. I would <laughs> tolerable. I, would I would not say likable. <laughs> I like him a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit? Just right. A little bit. Just a little bit. That's, okay, so of course we see that... Um, Jason comes back into the church to tell Kelly that he now they can be together. Sorry, Chardonnay. But Kelly comes back and she says that she has been holding out. She's in love with a man, a Latino man. Mm -hmm. Caliente. The other way. Muy caliente. I thought she meant the other way, lesbo. I That's like, what I thought. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys believe language? her? Did you believe that she um, was in a relationship until like before she admitted that she wasn't? I did for some reason. I did. I, did. I think it would be. I I should have noticed though. She didn't tell Tasha, so that's kind of weird. She didn't right, tell anyone, right. so you know. But right. I definitely believed her. And then of course she goes to Chardonnay's house to apologize to her. Straight to her house. That was very. I don't think that was a good. That move. was a death. <laughs> death waiting I, to happen. I, that's horrible. I think she thought it was a good move because you said that they were friends. I don't remember them being like friends. Well, well the last, the last season, season it ended with uh, Chardonnay and. Kelly being on good terms. They kind of made amends. Yeah. They made amends, and they, at first, you know, they were at each other's throat. But then they, mm -mm. they were, they made amends, and they were cool. No, they're they were nice. cordial. They were always cordial. I think it was inside. cordial. No, they I'm were. Like, no, yeah. they were at first because remember, no, she from was the trying surface, to do. I agree, they were, but on the inside, they were cordial. I feel like they were cool. Like they were like, okay, I can't be your best friend, but I don't hate you. So you think it was yeah. genuine? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think they got to that place of, I don't hate you. You're, we're always going to have an issue because you're, like, with my ex. And yeah, it's always going to be that weird, awkward space. But that's okay. Like, we're cool. There's no bad blood. Mm -hmm. right. That's how he ended it. It was cool. But I, I think when there's that part that you feel someone's holding out on, Kelly was holding out a lot of feelings, trying to be the bigger person. And I think Chardonnay picked up on that. She may have loved Jason and thought, like, oh, she's being mutual. But at the end of the day, still, Kelly's still around. You have to still watch her. Until right. you got a ring on it, you still watch her. She, she had the ring. Yes. That's, That's the I'm problem. Saying, I'm she saying. literally had the but ring. But she was a little yeah. too close for comfort. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that she she really was. Back. was. She, was back. she was plotting. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think Kelly she was, was plotting. I don't, I don't, I don't think. think. I, I, think, I, I, I think familiar. She, I think when you're married that long to somebody, you've been with them forever. You, you know, you had love for them. You love them. But I guess think there's what? just a natural pattern that you fall back into. No, no, yeah. no. But 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 not when that person is with somebody else and giving no, like even, you, you still. You can't. You, can't for, you don't forget how yeah. you were, were with that person. So even even still, like people that used to be married or divorced, now they both moved on and they have family gatherings. Okay, you can still have a, a decent family gathering. What I'm saying mm -hmm. is, you don't ever forget that the I was good with stuff, that you person. were in yes. love with. That. You don't forget that. Now you may not act on it. Most people should not act on oh, it. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Everyone. Of Kelly and Jason did, but. What I'm saying is they don't forget that. And that's why you do have to watch people. And you have to go, okay, let me keep my honest chick. Because yeah. she did used to be in love with my husband and vice versa. That's too much. But that's too much I just, I just don't think as someone who's divorced, you should be buddy-buddy with someone's ex. I don't care if it's cordial. There needs to be, I see you every now and then, if I have family gatherings. You don't need to be that close to me. I don't care if we have mutual friends. I'm the new chick. You got to go. That's But that's how what I'm saying. Like, how, how are you going to tell somebody, it. hey, you live in the same city. You have the exact same friends, but you got to go. Yeah, I mean, it's no. not going to Work. Well, I but think I'm when there's children involved, it's marriage? different. And as I said, they have a child as right. well, so she's uh, uh, right. inevitably she's going to have to play a significant role in his life because they're both raising a child together. Right. So I think you know when you do have children involved, you do have to be cordial. They're you have to make amends child, and do whatever way. because <laughs> like, otherwise it, it, it's just going to make for a messy, but see, messy state. You make, yep. I'm only speaking from being from a blended family. You can be cordial with the other person, but you have to keep that distance. Kelly never kept enough distance to make Chardonnay the most relevant person. She still was in his um in in oh, Jason's I agree. vision. Yeah, right? absolutely. Who invited she, her to the wedding? She was too close for comfort. I don't know. Um, like I, that's both what I them probably. Both, both yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she was like a friend of the, uh, both right. of them. They got cool. Yeah. I'm telling them they were at the end of the well before yeah. the the Girl. season finale. They were they were on good terms. Even if they were on good terms, if we if. Now I'm kind of thinking, okay, maybe Kevin was right because he was saying you should have saw us coming, but you invited 
her to the wedding. Cool or I mean, not cool? That's out of being I nice. don't mean she was being, being nice. Girl, she didn't that's see it weird. Yeah. I don't think she it's didn't really weird. see it you think it's weird? No, kind, kind of. Kind of. I feel like it depends on where you're at, especially if you have a child together. If there's no that's children it. involved, then it's a little weird. But okay, so my daughter's in your wedding. Is it my ex husband and his new wife's wedding? I would, I would be okay if I'm on good terms with the ex wife. I would be okay with her coming. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, I don't if you're on good terms. If not, if it's weird, no. If there's a hint I don't want to be. I don't want to be on bad terms, but I also don't really think I need to see you there. I just think it's. I don't know. It's like this is my day. People already know it was your day with him. They'll be looking and look. I don't know. There's like all this. Even if we're on good terms, you're a great guy. Send me the card. I love. But how much more powerful is it when pe- blended families are like that supportive of each other? They can be blended. But okay, that's, I, I think, don't know. I think, that's, I think that's the thing that we're saying though. For blended family. To be supportive of one or be close. I know it's a beautiful thing to have all everyone's family together and kumbaya and all that other good stuff, but it's also makes it difficult as well and awkward. And there's going to be problems that will arouse because the feelings, or not necessarily the feelings, but the thoughts, history, the memories, yeah. the history, history is always going to be there. And on, it will manifest but itself. But hold on. That's why two years, two years and things are supposed to be better? No, absolutely not. And second, Kelly is the person that is in the wrong. She needs to fall back. Right. She can be someone's mother. She can see have her visitation time. She can kick it with Tasha, but she needs to fall back. And that was see? on her. And I think we, we see her do that. We see that Kelly decides she's going to leave. Mm-hmm. She's like, I want to get away from this mess. That's yeah. why she lied about the Latino man she mm-hmm. was dating. Um, so I really think she doesn't want to be involved in this. I really, I really felt like she really wanted Jason and Chardonnay to be together. Yeah. I don't think there was I think any she did. No, I do. There. I do agree. I think Kelly didn't have any bad intentions. I just, I'm just sad at how it worked out. So I think now I'm thinking like, oh my God, maybe she should have done this. Maybe she, you know, but. Yeah. I think I Kelly knew, I, I disagree. I, I think Kelly knew what she was doing. You I think, think she, so? I don't I'm think not. I'm not I don't think she was just Angel that was just trying to be supportive and think everything was. I think she had a little. She you had. Think, a, she had another agenda on. And so there. you think she's wow. gonna come back? Absolutely. She's Absolutely. Gonna, are you serious? Absolutely. Okay. Wow. Watch. That's interesting. Why? I know. It's very interesting. Okay. So then we also see that you know I feel so bad for Chardonnay. Mm. She calls Tasha, who is recuperating from having baby Kyra. Is it Kyra? Kyla. Ky- Kyra. Kyra. Kyra, Kyra, we all got Kyra Mac. Kyra, there it is. He's a Kyra, Kyra. Yeah, okay. there you go, Kyra. And so she comes over and she talks to Chardonnay. And in addition to talking to Chardonnay, she also brings a few people, a few people from former seasons, which I'm so glad to see. Ooh. So we see Erica, mm-hmm. who is married to Trent from the Sabres. On the Sabres team. Yes. So yes. We, we would see her periodically through different seasons. Um, and then we also saw Dion. Yes, and yeah, Dion's Dion. back yes. as yeah. the image consultant extraordinaire <laughs> to help um, to help Charnay with her image, a book deal. Now that she's gone through this tragic <laughs> motivational uh, like conferences, you can help women. I was like, oh god, which is true. That's what happens. It if you have some tragedy, you write about it, honey. You make some bank off that. Right, wow. Terry McMillan waiting to excel. Right, <laughs> I'm telling you. Instead look of what... that arson, honey. Instead of really burning down somebody's house, <laughs> yep. right about it. Burn their pockets. Right, yes. right. Yes. So I was excited to see. Um, Dion, Dion back. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think so she's happy. been back since like what season four, three. It's been so long. It's been a minute. It's Obviously, been... Tia was there when yeah. she was there. So right, it's right. Been a minute. Still, Melanie and Sarah went yes. back. Yes, oh. we still miss them. I think. Do you think they're gonna make a, a make Reunion? it to the season? I think they will. They I think they to. have the to. Season. I think they have. They, I don't think they left on bad blood. So right. I feel like come back, come on back. We'll see. You that would be a dream. That really would. Yes, yes. And so then we also see that um, Chardonnay. At the end, we'll just move with their storyline. Chardonnay comes to Jason's, or she comes to Malik's because he's sorrowing, he's I don't know, wallowing in his sorrows. Mm-hmm. And she serves some divorce paper, divorce papers, and also says that she's suing him for emotional, what is it, Cody? Cody? Cody. I yeah. was trying to. I don't know what that it. means. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, it sounds like a well, since I'm, the, <laughs> since I'm the lawyer on the panel, uh, yes. Cody is actually, uh, it's a code that they use, instilled uh, in 1821. Okay. I have no idea. Right. So basically, she's going to sue the mess out yes. of him, even though they were married long. Yes. yes. Um, which is great. 
because I think he deserves it for being. For you can't do that to people. I'm sorry. He was, it was irrational. He was not thinking on that. And outfit. the thing is, he's so dumb. The way he. Re- <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a little too blunt. I just Jason Pitts. I love um, Kobe Bell, but Jason Pitts is so drove. The way he reacted, like, he was too normal. She's like, you know, you said that that was an accident. It just came out of your mouth. That slipped you. You over here celebrating um, with some champagne. You're on the field already. You're telling Kelly, okay, we should just do this. I should have both of you. It's right. like, dude. But no, you, are you in there? Is that how men react though? Like, how do you know any guy friends that act like that when they get emotional? Well, I'll say this. You know, at least for Jeff Far Jason Pitt is concerned, he comes across really, and some guys do come across like this, but it's just emotionless. You know, it's, it's like there's no, uh, the, there's no connection or just you know no identifying what the issue is and Jason I'm not saying they're saying that he's just oblivious and just nonchalant and doesn't care yeah. but I think with certain guys they just don't like to deal with certain right, things right. they don't like to deal with the drama so it's easy for them yeah just whatever take a shot yeah screw it women come women go like he said that's oh, nonsense. Like, so that's I think, your fiance I think though, that's just like, a, a or way or wife that's a, yeah. that's a protection me- mechanism that's a t- yeah. it's just a re- mechanism yeah but not all guys are like that I don't want to throw all men under believe me there's a lot of guys that are not like that like but you Kevin it, it, of course you <laughs> the know. other side of them they like to cry a lot and those guys aren't cool either just kidding <laughs> okay. I'm sorry I'm okay s- but it but, oh, we're not real men cry no they do real men cry I agree with that I agree but not like not every to, day okay yeah. anyway <laughs> anyway, anyway go ahead, but are anyway. we saying that his irrational actions are because he's guarding his heart is that what we're saying that's I don't crap. think that <laughs> like I'm, I'm annoyed know. with I know I, I think I, the I, statement I, that he made was as a was a, a defense mechanism like oh I'm not hurting women come and go okay when he so, really feels stupid and he's like I, what have I done I've made a mess out of my life so I think that's thing. him so trying might to have have a men have trouble just accountability mm-hmm. you know and for him to sit there and be like you know I, I, I screwed up my life is over you know and to really um, dwell in that emotion is not going to happen. Yeah. You know, we, we want to, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the few things we want to, we want to, uh, make it look as if nothing is bothering us, nothing is going on and who cares? And maybe deep down inside he can be hurting. He can be burning. Okay. But I, think he, I think be, he has to be. I think it's crazy for drinking me. his life away yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. As Currently see, as we, yeah. Yes. As we see. So moving right along, well, there's, there's more to come with them, but moving right along, we'll talk about Blue and Kira, honey. Mm. Oh, Last God. season, oh, yeah. at the <laughs> season finale, they decided they're going to get married. They jump in the car to head to Vegas Mm -hmm. to get hitched. Everyone thought this was a bad idea, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's and, a bad idea. And so we see the season it picks up. They're going, they're getting on a private plane, Mark Cuban's private plane at that, which I was like, that's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't That's kind of random. It does, was does random Mark... because I thought, why don't you have your own private jet? Not that, not that, like. He's not, girl, he don't make that much money. He's rookie year yeah. last season. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I mean, they made him look like he was the main He owns one. a team? Mark Cuban owns a team. Okay. Mark Cuban. No, he owns the Sabres? Mark Cuban no, owns, no, no, he owns everything. No, no, no. So. so I'm trying to figure out what the connection, connection is between the San Diego be. Sabres, this make believe team right. that's on the game, and then the fact that Blue is taking Mark Cuban. Maybe Mark Cuban is an executive producer on the game. <laughs> I know. Oh, you know? Well, his name is not in the credits. I don't know. It was <laughs> kind of weird. Like I thought they would have like made up a name. Right. It was the Mavericks. But, I know, yeah. we know he knows we know, the, yeah. we know he owns the Mavs. I'm just well, trying to figure out what his brother is. Because the Sabres are fictitious anyway, so it's not like he, you know... Okay. But anyways, they just had to, they just wanted to do a name shout out to Mark Cuban. Exactly. I, I feel like that's really, really weird. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so he gets on the plane and him and Kira are just acting up. It takes him forever to take off cuz they have hanky panky in the bathroom. Mile mm-hmm. high club shot. The, okay. Yeah, they have and to they pay for even, the fuel. But they weren't even in a mile. They weren't even yeah, up. they weren't even up. Yet. They were on the ground. <laughs> they were just yeah. Yes, and then the, I'm sorry, but the pilot was a little too he had too many he issues. He was irritating. He, he was, was just annoying. He was more like, irritating annoyed. than Marie. I she think. was fun. You I like Marie? I think she was hilarious. Yeah. Like, I think it, her it, timing <laughs> was comedic. Yeah. 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 I thought she added a nice light element to that. She did. To the fact that they were I totally did. about to like mess up whatever the heck they were already messing up, right. to be honest. But. It must have been a sign from a beloved mm-hmm. for them to not be able to take off because they had so many delays with the flight. Um, but we find out that Kira is still planning to move to Miami to do the Woody Allen movie for six months. As she mm. should. And of course, Blue was like, "Wait, wait now, because I thought we were married. Like, you right. know, nowhere they didn't talk that. They didn't go through their plans this Stupid. far, did they? So, what do you guys <laughs> That's think? That's why you, you did. Go ahead. Do you think that Kira is right in thinking I can still go pursue my dreams even though I'm about to get married? 
and be gone from my husband for six months? Or do you think Blue is right and is saying, well, I wanted my wife here? No. I heard I, nothing on the second one. She needs to go pursue her dreams. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't going to do it. I, I think that, the, no, ooh, I would love to hear what Kevin has to say first. Go ahead. No, no, ladies first. Ladies first, please. All right, Kevin, come so on. So polite. I know. Yeah. Um, but not tonight. So anyways, <laughs> like I said, I think. No, that's rude. I love that's that. Rude. That's rude. Um, that's rude. No, it's not. No, but I think the engagement overall was totally, totally like just. What's the word for Sporadic. shotgun? Ridiculous. Or no, not shotgun. Like, just so, so Sporadic, terrible. Reckless. Like, okay. what's the other word for that? Horrible. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it was all of those. Despicable. Um, just stupid. Like stupid. Because first of all, Jay's reason to get, to get married. Stupid. Her blue. I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> I know that's real name. Like he, my friend. Um, Blue's reason to propose to Kira was just, and I, I, I was trying to figure out. I was like, do men really like still think like that? Probably, blah blah. Whatever. Um, and then her reaction to it by not saying what she really wants to do by not them not having a real conversation, them not get. I mean, how many kids are they gonna have? Like, where do they want to live? Oh, like, are you are talking they, about the emojis? Are you? No, I'm no, talking about. Still on I'm the, talking about like they. She's just talking about uh, they didn't prepare him, a him plan. Him to propose means right, that there's right. all this preparation. I feel like if you're gonna get in an there's engagement no with somebody. There was no thought into it. Right, yeah. right. So I think, how could we not see all this spiral His down motives, into it? Yeah, yeah. He of had course. really bad motives. Yeah, that's I agree. Well, first of all, one, I think he's extremely selfish to say that you're just going to stay at home and be at home and wait for me every night when I get in like a, a traditional, I guess, yeah. uh, housewife. That's He knows her dreams. He She's knows her an aspirations. Actress, like, and if you're going to marry a woman, you have to support that. Yeah. Just like you want your woman to support you in your career. You can't have everything your way the way you want it. Right. Two, um, marrying somebody is not like, you know, going to Disneyland for the day mm -hmm. and there's something, no, that takes time. You have to plan that out. You have to discuss that. You get premarital counseling, things of that sort, which is another reason why you just don't go off and elope. It's Third of like all, Kevin's if you guys to want to meet married. Kevin, his number is at 575-672-6781. You know, He'll Valentine's Day is coming up next month. I was like, Kevin, you took it to the next level. I am not mad at you. I am not mad at you. Sorry, sorry if I came off late, but you know, I'm, I'm an advocate for, for for, for doing things the right way. And I think nowadays, you know, marriage is just a joke. Like, yeah. you know, oh, it's for the moment. Hey, we're drunk. Let's go get married. That's you know, cool. That's we need to check out the divorce yeah. rates. They have to be extremely high right now. They are. Exactly. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. but getting back to them as well, you know, also, you know, how much love was really in that proposal. You know, like, like Stay said, I thought it was really stupid. <laughs> it was, it was, I, I think it was quite imbecile of him to do yeah. something like that. I'm making up words, but right. still. And, and you know, I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't see the proposal, but was it romantic? Like, did he put any thought into it? Because if you're it thinking about- It was at somebody else's wedding. Okay, exactly. <laughs> like, we should have known at that point. It wasn't a real, it wasn't a real. We should have known at that point that there was no, there was no genuine, yeah. nothing genuine I, I'm that. not doubting that they love each other. I'm definitely thinking that that's, that's for real, but I just, his preparation for that was whack. And then I, I do feel bad, because I'm still trying to answer Megan's question, like, who was who was wrong? Who was Jay? I guess Jay's more wrong. I, Say Blue. Jay. Gosh. People don't know his real name's Jay. Jay. Was wrong. Sorry, You're I'm still sorry. on that Jay pit. I don't know why. Blue is, Blue is, wrong. is wrong. And he admitted later that he wanted her there just so he could have a good season. He felt like he wouldn't she's have her. her good no, luck she's she's her family. Him. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Never he, mind. He doesn't like, have family. She's his family. She's his okay. family. Which is not that wrong. But you don't. But listen. But that's not the reason you marry somebody. Correct. It's because you're lonely and you need family. Yes. I need family, so I'm gonna go and get married. No, no, no. You 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 have friends and things of that sort. Those become your family. But a a wife girlfriend. is up. No, no, no. I'm, of course. I'm you, dying. I'm saying, but yeah. She's still your girlfriend. She's not going anywhere. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And that's the thing. You know, it's not like, and I don't know, maybe trying to put the ring on it was would, would basically solidify her stain and she can't go nowhere. She has a ring. So, you know, um, she, she won't leave, which obviously we know that doesn't happen 51% of the time. <laughs> but at any rate, you know, I just felt it was very selfish of him all, 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 all along. You know, yeah. I, I believe she had every right to go and do, or if he didn't want that, something that should have been discussed. But then right. again, that goes back to preparation. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. So then of course we see that they decide to, um, they're in, they're in Blue's apartment and they have this whole conversation through emojis, which oh, I thought God. was cute. At it, first it I was like, turned out, was so it turned out cute. It turned out cute. It started yeah. cute. Stupid, like he's behind you. Turn around, girl. But I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I did that before. I mean, we've all done that where you text somebody who's sitting right next to you. 
I mean, have we? Yeah. Maybe in a I meeting. Just, like I, a romantic I, I, conversation? Maybe, maybe not romantic. I mean, you've texted somebody next to you. Yeah. I, have, I, I have. To I have. I have. For kicks and giggles. Stacey, I'm not I right. just text you, matter of fact. Let you didn't get, get it? Was it emojis? It was emoji, yeah. Was it? I don't know my phone. Emoji of whatever. But of course, but I love what he says, which is he wants to have a normal engagement, a real one. They talk their issues out through text, which I don't advocate. Yeah. Some people are just not really good with words, but you should have real conversations. Mm -hmm. Texting does not take the place of real conversations, people. True. Um, Unless you just met somebody and you don't want to be too intimidating or too overwhelming. But anyways, go ahead. Well, you putting all your I game out tonight. Not no, 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 everybody no, no, know what no, you no, do. No, I'm, saying, I'm saying, you know, every if, if, you, if you meet somebody, not to go off subject, but I don't think it's anything wrong with the texting. With a no, 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 quick I'm, text I'm initially. Not, talking about that. I'm talking not a about, conversation, this is, no. This is a real They're conversation. They're talking about engagement. Yeah. No, so, I agree. Yeah, I agree. That's okay, yeah, okay. right. I agree. So then, conversation course, you don't have to. It ends. They're happy. They're going to be engaged for real. And Blue is going to support Kira. I think that's a happy or ending. Or it's going to fall apart. I, yeah, I mean, it's got to be an or. Yeah. No yeah. or. With, with Blue it's and Kira, we see it every episode. It's like they break up, make up by the right. end of the episode. It's just something. That's why I'm like, okay, this was a cute little ending. But what's going to happen the beginning of next week's episode? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> something right, else. Right, right. She's it gone. It reminds to... me of like teenage love affairs. Like they're just very on yes. and off. It's yes. Right. right. They are the two. I agree with you. I do agree. Show, apparently. Okay, so then of course we see uh, from the last season, Tasha has had her baby, baby Kyra. Mm -hmm. And we find out, which we said this the, the very last season, um, when she had the baby and everyone was in the room, Pookie was there as well. And they mentioned that he had the test or something, the paternity test. We're like, wait a minute. Oh, you can't no. have a paternity test that fast and get the result. You just popped the baby out. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way you can have. And I remember we said that. And people were commenting on our show, like, yeah. you're so right. And I'm sure the writers watched it. Sorry, guys. And they're like, we had to, I think we had, we talked to Kenny, who is uh, the executive producer of the show. And he was telling us, he's like, guys, come on, the timeline. Like, I know that doesn't make sense. So we had to throw it in there because we kind of needed y'all to know that he was a father. Yeah, he was yeah. 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 a father. Exactly. Of, right. So we, we get it. it. Okay. So we saw that last season, Pookie is the baby's father. And now we see how things are going with Tasha there. She's got a nurse, a doula there. Mm -hmm. And he seems, I think Pookie seems to be an amazing father. He's got the sanitizing right. stations, all the good food for the breast milk. But I'm more concerned about Tasha not being a good mom, even though she's been a mom. I was going to say, she's being very horrible and, and very... <laughs> her Cheetos. She's, yeah, she's very, like, concerned about the wrong thing. Not that she shouldn't be there for Chardonnay at this time, but it's like she's never been there for her kid in the whole episode. It was an hour. It was like, weird. I didn't see her hold... Oh, I did see her hold once. When did yeah. she hold the baby? At the delivery room? No, when did she hold? No, this episode, when did she hold the baby? She, the baby okay. was in the little She kind of hovered over the, the cradle. She was yeah. over the cradle. But at the she end. didn't. I was like, okay, there was a Pookie moment. Okay, but held the baby. The nurse held the baby. <laughs> I think the only thing she was she worried about was her little diaper and recovering from That's the afterbirth. That's what I'm saying. That's I don't crazy. think she's going to, I feel like she's not going to be a, the better parent. I feel like Pookie's going to be the better parent. But can yeah. you, I don't want to say, I don't know, can you blame her? She has had to raise Malik on her own. So I feel like. You would think she would step up to the plate, but I'm like, that's like 30 years down the line. And now she has to be a mom again. You don't again. forget how to be a mom. I yeah, get exactly, it. I get it. Exactly. I get it. I just want to be devil's advocate. Well, but you, but, but after a while, you do get out of that, you know, that, that mommy mode. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Not to say that you ever forget, but you just get out of it, you know. And when you're, when, when you are, you know, when you are in that maternal stage, when you're having kids, it's a whole lot easier to, you know, assume the role. Yeah. And, and, and be kind of like... Right, but I'm honestly, but she had a baby, so it doesn't matter. I know, but I mean, she's at that age where her child is self sufficient. Exactly. So exactly. until she has some grandkids, I don't think that it's going to kick in. And then exactly. even with that, as a grandmother, you can send them home. She <laughs> can't send the baby home. That's true. <laughs> Just Megan, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. No, I, I was just going to say, like, it just seemed that even though she has, you know, Tasha hasn't been, had to take care of an infant in forever, Pookie's never taken care of an infant. Mm -hmm. And it, he just seems to have more of a parental instinct than Tasha does. Because the whole episode, I was kind of like, why does it seem like she's not really connecting with this baby? I, she wasn't holding the baby. She was reading her. I mean, she was reading at the very beginning when she was in the bed. She was reading a children's book, mm -hmm. eating her little cheese puffs. Mm -hmm. But it just, I don't know. It just seems like I think Pookie's going to end up being a better parent. Yeah. Do you do think you it has... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it has anything to do with the fact that she's still uh, longing for Rick? 
Because during that whole time, I think there was a confusing period for her emotionally. Right. So I, I mean, I think she's. I think that is part of it. She's. And I think she feels really bad because Pookie being her best friend and how she did him so dirty, she really and now did. he's the father of her child. Like I think she really does feel bad. But of course, being Tasha Mac, she can't put it all out there like that. You know what I mean? Do you think that um, he was Pookie was right in saying I want to take her and raise her on my own? Uh, yes, crazy? absolutely. Yeah. No. I know. I, I wasn't sure if I would. I wasn't mad at him, but it's like you can't take away from the mom. Why? I think, I think he's he would be a better parent from what we're seeing involved. right now. <laughs> I mean, okay. But, granted, right now, yeah, you can't take the brand new baby from. Oh no, because they need mother. they need to like first right. of all, there needs to be more skin to skin contact. Like, the baby, <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, there really like, does. Like, that baby is not feeling no love. She don't know who her mom is. <laughs> right, like, right. She's like, damn. I told y'all. See. No, I agree. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I wasn't as mad at him as. As I should have been when he was like, I'm taking her. I was like, whoa, but that might be a good idea. Because she. Right. Tasha yeah. Max, I don't know if she's cut up raising a baby again. Right. And she just looks like she's too, too busy living her life and right. doing her what she wants to do when she wants to do it. She just doesn't seem, you know, like she's in mommy mode. Right. Right. You she's know? not. I think Like, she is she going to breastfeed the baby? No. You know, what's like. I mean, what's, she's, she's not. Yeah, she's going to no. breastfeed the baby. The reason that she hasn't is because her milk hadn't come yet. You know, sometimes in for what. Sometimes, just because you pop out a baby doesn't mean breast milk automatically is popping out your boobs. Oh, I Sometimes it, I, it takes a couple of I days. I thought it was simultaneous, someone, you know? Uh, baby milk. Baby milk. You know, <laughs> just like that. It, it, it doesn't just, always happen like that. Especially if you have, like, a C-section. I, sometimes it takes a little longer. Because your body wasn't ready to yeah. have a baby. You cut your stomach open. Your body's like, hey, wait. We weren't ready to have the baby yet. Okay. 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 It just takes time. It sounds so sometimes. fun. Sometimes oh, no. it just takes time. So her breast milk, as he said it, as Pookie said, the baby hadn't come had out it. yet. Because when she starts doing that, then the maternal um, maybe that's instinct what it will is. kick in. Once you once maybe. you start, I think once maybe. they get their relationship together, then her maternal instinct will kick in. True, because True. she's all over the place. Like I said, emotionally, I don't think she's ready for anything. Well, she's of course Pookie hits us with that one too. Because I thought for a minute they're like, okay, maybe they are gonna get back together. Yeah, no, it's and still no. you know, Tasha talks about the Spanish house on cul de sac. Only to find out that Pookie's like, no, man, we're not going to get back together. Like, you did some ultimate dirt. Yes. And I'm going to take my daughter. We already contacted a lawyer. All that kind of stuff. And oh. I, in that moment, she her maternal instinct kind of kicked in. She was like, oh, you ain't taking my baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not going to take my baby. Yeah. Um, That's because Tasha doesn't like to lose also. And True. then, of all places, you know. he's taking the baby to Richmond. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Richmond is the best place to raise a family. You right, know, just, right. Just say, no nothing. shade if you're from Richmond. No shade. No, Richmond, California. Yeah. yeah for those of you who are yeah. confused. I'm from Stockton, so it can't get worse than that. But anyways. Yes. You, know. yes. you turned out fine. You did all right. You did all right. Thank so you. then, of course, um, five, at the five, end, five, six, seven, they, they get on, on good terms. They get on good terms because Tasha has say. a heart-to-heart with Pookie. And Pookie just wants to be there for his daughter. Right. He just I think she also has this whole mentality that she probably was going to end up raising this baby on her own. Because that's all she knows is being a single mother. Mm-hmm. So it probably never even entered her head that I'm going to have a partner in doing this. She, that's not what she's used to. Yeah. So I don't blame her necessarily for thinking like, okay, I'm going to do this by myself. I mean, it, we see that that Kyra's name had, I guess her last name Mac. was Kyra Mack. Mm-hmm. It wasn't Pookie's last name until he changed it. So um, they end on good terms and decide that, okay, we're going to be partners in raising this little girl. Is it weird that I didn't believe that that's really, like, what happened? I don't want to jump into the <laughs> but I, I really yeah. felt like if she walked off, he would have took the baby around. I really I felt did. like it. I mean, I he was so hostile. I was like, oh, my gosh. Some, she's either going to get hit or he's still in that baby. Like, that's just how I oh, felt in the scene. Oh, she's going to get hit? Oh, my God. No, I, I really felt like that because he was just, like, a lot of built-up anger. For, I don't know. I as mean, he's got a right to be yeah, mad. Yeah, like, she, she should, man. Dirty. She really, oh. And then to not be able to be there for your child, you know, your child growing in their mother's womb, going to the yeah. the ultrasounds yeah. and everything because she didn't know who the baby's father was. And she didn't even so care. So she robbed him out. of that experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I get why he's mad. Yeah. Yeah. Every right Definitely to be, every right to be pookie. So then of course uh another storyline that we have this season is with Yana and Malik. Mm-hmm. And we ended last season, Yana did not want to sign off on Malik's what is it medical or what is it medical release what is it oh his his release so he can go back and play football yeah his, so his physical I, I guess really I think it's something called. like an author- I think it's called a authorization medical, medical, medical release o- okay I there think that go. was the name yeah she didn't want to sign off on it hmm. and of course we saw that Malik was like I'm done with you. 
But I really love them together. Yes, I thought finally I he's in love. Out of shed everyone. a tear. Like, after their love session. <laughs> I, didn't, okay. I didn't like that he said he had never been loved. I mean, now that I know that, I guess it is true. But I remember when he was dating Tika Sumter back in... Oh, like, he was? You know? And yeah, I thought that rehab. was I thought that was real, too. Like, I really love them together. But see? I'm starting to like Yana. Anymore. But I feel like uh, this is the one time where Mal you do see some changes in Malik. Right. Yes. So she's definitely Barely. it for him. Yeah. I don't agreed, know if he's agreed. doing her right, though. Agreed. This is the thing, though. And, and, and this is kind of the same thing with... Uh, Jason and Chardonnay when she was trying to tell him to stop playing football and with Malik and this girl and she's not really authorizing him to play yet because of his uh, injury hasn't uh, healed. One thing is you can never take or come in between a football and a man. All right. It's very whether a man wants to play, whether a man is sitting on the couch watching football, never come in between a That's man crazy. and football. It's serious. It's, true. it's, it's true. serious. And you see how stubborn both of them are, obviously, because, you know, the professional athletes. And when you are a professional athlete, all they know is football, you right. know, from the moment you're seven, eight, all the way up. And Malik is eager to get back out there because obviously that's all he knows. You saw his life when he wasn't playing football. He was depressed. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't know what to do with himself. But and she didn't say that he couldn't play football. She, she just said not, not right. Not that still, season, not but you that know season. how much that hurts to wait again and but sit and Do you know how much it hurts more if you can never play again yeah. because your arm is gone? But yeah. see, the thing is, and that's this the risk the thing. that he's not going to take. Yeah, but exactly. see, this is the thing. With, with football, the lifespan of a football athlete is a lot shorter than a baseball player or NBA athlete. Oh. Athlete. Yes. You only got a limited amount of time, and even that to play at an elite level. And Malik knows that as a quarterback. So he's like, okay, I understand that, you know, um, I understand that my, my arm may not have healed, but I also understand that I don't have that many years left to play at a top level. Okay, but, but that, if it but, doesn't, but that's, and I think that's what she was trying to tell him. Like, you're not going to play at all yeah, if you go so. now. You could at least, at least if you wait a, a season, right. you might be able to get an, uh, one season out that arm. Yeah. Right now, you're not going to get any season. So yeah. that's him being the impatient Malik that he is. Mm -hmm. And so... Of course, we see that he does some dirty stuff here. He decides to, <laughs> to make up with Yana only to steal her credit card and take her signature off. Who does terrible. that? that was, when the end of last season, when um, when they they kind of fizzled out last season, I thought that she was trifling because she was like, yeah, I'm not going to sign it. And I thought, oh, she has like ulterior motives. But this episode, when she was professing her love and doing all that, I was like, oh my gosh, like she's legit. And I was really rooting for Malik because I was like, okay, you found her. Like, don't mess it up. Right. And it's, they're sleeping together. And I'm like, oh, he just wants to like get away and then he starts creeping out and Steven calls it out he's about to I said I I was really disappointed because it's just like <laughs> dang but like you that, still haven't learned anything but, but that's that that's de desperate he loves football that much so that's exactly that, that's yeah, his baby right time. there and Yana yeah. Yana says something to him which is you love football and that's it you don't know, like, how, you to don't love know how to else. love and that's sad because when you're not gonna play football and she's telling the truth. Mm, that was real. I mean, but, but that's it, real. But you that's that is a man's almost a man's first love. You start at mm -hmm. a young age, you have developed a relationship with this thing right, right. and you've become good at it. Like that's the that is what he is amazing at. That's his passion. Right. The thing is that you're 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 really especially as a football player, any athlete, you um you're married to the sport. And you know, you, you your blood, sweat, tear, investment, everything that you put is in that. So I agree. Yeah, he probably does love football more than anything else because that's who he's been with. You know, that that's his partnership. And I know it sounds crazy, but it's just the truth. It doesn't you know? sound crazy at all, actually. It sounds pretty right. realistic. Okay, so then of course Malik, after forging the signature, sets up um, a scouts I guess, <laughs> meeting. What is it called? Because oh, he's a free well, agent. Well, basically, you have a, a pro day, and a pro day is okay. when you showcase yourself for um, for uh, scouts or prospective NFL teams that okay. want to. And showcase he did with the <laughs> most <laughs> right experience. <laughs> wow, the cheerleaders and all. The, and uh, cheerleaders at, at DJ, or whatever they were. DJ Baby <laughs> Drew makes an appearance from what show? Love and Hip Hop ATL. The first season. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not up to date on it. I don't watch it. Uh, uh, no, he was on something. It was some show. One of those reality shows, but he's on there. Uh, so he's a real DJ. DJ Baby Drew. And of course, um, as we all expected, he bombs. Mm. Malik bombs his pro day. No teams want him because he sucks. He looks like he's playing like elementary football. Yeah, mm. was, mm. that last that. ball. <laughs> They're about to put the ball. Like, it's just out. getting funny now. Yeah, yeah. It, it and so Yana at the end. Yana of course comes and she doesn't blow up his spot. She doesn't let on and tell everyone he should not be here. She just lets him go through with it. And at but the how end, could she though? 
I mean, she could have. She could have stopped and said, but he, put her he on the laid spot. it on thick. No, he definitely, yeah, mm. that was really ridiculous. She could have still been like, no, that. you forged my signature. She could have said it. But I don't think she's that type of woman. She she, she does not. love him. She's trying to support him. She she was doing that, and he just didn't get it. Right, right. So, and so of course, she tells him, she's sorry, it's not going to work. He thinks, of course, we'll just pick this up tomorrow. And, do you think they're done, done? No. 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 I give not. them two more episodes. <laughs> 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 Tops. Tops. Okay. And I then, of course, we, um, so that's pretty much everybody. But we do also see that the owner of the Sabres comes up, uh, Roger. Mm. And we see that Jason is a different role now. He's going to be the consultant to Blue. The, 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 what is yeah. it? Special? The wide receiver consultant. Wide receiver. That's not a coach, though, right? He did uh, say no, Coach no. Pitts. The it thing is, is as a consultant, you you, you, you kind of straddle because you're not just coach, but you also consult the players as well. Um, in Isn't a way that what a work. coach does? <laughs> not necessarily. I mean, there's there's so many different positions, but it's just a technical word for a coach and somebody that kind of because he coaches like he consults them away from the field as well. Right. It's uh, not just okay. an on-field thing. So. Okay, gotcha. So then, of course, we see that Jason's going to be stepping into a new role this season. We also see there's a new character, Baby Roger. Oh. Shout out to Andre Fuller. Yeah. He's been to our studios a few times. He's also on the show Black Jesus. <laughs> I looked like he was there. But yeah, he's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely um, going to be on this season. So there, we've got a lot of good things coming up. Let's just move on to our prediction. Yeah. yeah. And now, you're after Buzz TV predictions. So my prediction has to do with Chardonnay. We see that at the end of the episode, we see like the, the I guess, the trailer or the something. Preview. For, yeah, the preview. Pre, what is it? The, the preview. 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 It's the preview? I don't know why I'm so like blossom my words today. <laughs> but anyway, the preview for next season, we see that, uh, next episode, I'm sorry. We see that Chardonnay has something to tell Jason. I think it's that she's pregnant. I think we you agree. are probably very correct. We all, like, we all wanted that prediction. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that was the best. Yeah, right, I right. kind of. Dang it, Jason with the kid. Another, Another His one. daughter is already like no. No, Brit but now with no, I think with Chardonnay as the mama, that baby's not going to turn out like like yeah. Brats. Yes, I don't. Okay. All right, Courtney. Okay, so mine has to do with Pookie. Mm -hmm. um, I said that I think he would contemplate moving back to Atlanta. Um, but Not then, Atlanta. Oh, San sorry. Diego. San Diego. There we go. Contemplate moving back, but then I think Rick is going to come back into the picture. What? And, oh, 100%. And screw things up. I, I agree. agree. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's going to yeah. be juicy. Rick's Rick making a Rick, comeback. Yeah. Rick, everyone should come back from every season. I know. <laughs> Rick was in the studio a couple weeks ago, and he definitely said that he was going to be back. Oh, yeah. spoiler alert. So, hey. Very mm -hmm. excited mm -hmm. to see Rick. Yeah. yeah, he yes. was very funny. <laughs> okay. Um, my prediction has to do with Blue and Kira. And... Oh, God. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we already knew. That, that's my prediction. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> no, I think that it's going to start with her being on set um, at her Woody, Woody Allen film, and they would have started that, and maybe Blue comes, and they're going to have some kind of huge, not fallout, but fight, and they'll be trying to make it work. There'll be some kind of flying back and forth, mm. or some kind of, we'll see what their making it work looks like. And we'll see um, how far that engagement can last. I'm right. hoping all the ways to the end of the season, but no, we never know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, I like it. Malik and Yana. Um, I know without a doubt they're going to get back together. Yeah. That's my ah. prediction. They're going to get, they're, they're going to. I mean, wh who else is Malik going to go to? Oh, no. Right. Right. Even, exactly. <laughs> she's so gonna, think, you think she's going to train him again? Or I think she, baby? yeah, absolutely. I think, okay. th I think that's how it's going to start. She's going to come back. He's going to beg her back or something's going to happen where she comes back. She feels bad for him. Maybe she trains him, gets him ready. And by the end, I think that he will go back and play midway through the season. He will get back on a team okay. on the roster. It's midway through the season. She's going to help him out. I guarantee you. I can see that. Can we quickly predict like who's going to actually end up married by the end of the whole series? Like who? Because right now they're uh, all just like... Pookie and Tasha. Ooh. Really? Oh, I was thinking yeah. of Yana and Malik. Mm. You think Look. they're at marriage? I think they're going to get married. I think Malik... I mean, he's had no one that was that... Yeah, you're Real. right. He might go ahead and do it. Did. Put a ring on it. Yeah. Who else? Is it? Anybody else think anybody else is going to get married? I was thinking Kelly and Jason, but I think that may be a couple. Maybe I don't think finale. They'll, I don't, they'll, I don't they'll think leave that us Chardonnay with that. Chardonnay and Jason are gonna get back together, y'all. Really? With all this brandy? I do. I really? do. It's gonna get horrible. And the very last episode of the season, they're gonna get back together. I, I think. I think and they, and they're gonna get married th for real this time. I think it's between between Kelly and uh, Jason. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, so we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> as, it, as it progress, we'll see. I so no one cares about Kieran. Rick is. <laughs> Kira, I'm right, Kira, 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 Kira. Forget them. Rick is gonna come back and marry Tasha. 
No. Yes. I hate that. I, hate that. <laughs> I was joking. And on that note, I hate that. Who are you? Lady? I say yes. Where can they find you? Oh, you guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Tez Knows. Please tweet me all your predictions. We're nuts over here. Okay. <laughs> hey, you guys, check me out on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Okay, check me out on Twitter and Instagram at one take space, also at NaomiLiving.com, and please tweet me your predictions because I'm hoping to be here soon. Thank you. Uh, uh, Kevin John, you can reach me on Twitter and Instagram at HeyKevinJohn, and please tweet me some wonderful quotes to live by. Somebody's gonna tweet you a picture of that you granny pen. That's what you're gonna do. You're putting it all out there. I for can see. I, that's my prediction. <laughs> and as always, you can find me, Megan Thomas, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Meg Scoop, like Scoop of Ice Cream. Don't forget to subscribe to our iTunes podcast. It's free. Tell your friends. Make sure you post all your questions and your comments because we might just shout you out this season. Mm -hmm. Until next episode, peace, y'all. See y'all. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.